lovers. I'm so excited to bring you today's video because it is for a hairdo that has been much requested from all of you. Sleep Braid Waves and it's no heat and I've gotten a ton of comments and questions from you all. So today's video is all about a 24 hour process of doing the braids, taking them out and then doing a hairdo with the waves as well. I'm gonna take my sleep braids out on the town or to bed but you could also wear them to a barbecue. They're perfect for the beach. And then I'm gonna take these no heat waves which is my hair break work because it's super effortless but you could wear this look to a weekend soiree, graduation. And then I'm gonna take these waves and pull them together a little more with a braid and it's perfect for a prom or a wedding. But I'm gonna take them out on a warm evening date night with Joey. That's what we're doing, whole 24 hours. Let's get into it. First step is I've gotten home after a long day, washed my hair, shampoo, conditioner. Now my hair is towel dry but still nice and wet because I want to really seal it into the braids first before it dries fully so that I get those waves. Now my hair is naturally curly, but my curl is completely different than the wave that I end up getting from these braids. So I don't want you guys at home who have straight hair to think, oh I can't do this, my hair is naturally curly because the braids are the things that give you the wave and the curl. I am going to use this Nexus Mousse Volumizing Foam and I'm just working this through my damp hair, making sure to get it into all the layers. Now this is where you guys can choose where you want your part. I usually part my hair in the middle, sometimes I'll part it on the side, but for these waves I like them to be even, so I choose a middle part. I don't do a perfect Part. That way it looks a little more natural when I take the braids out. I used to do this where I would do the normal underhanded braid, but lately I've been doing an overhand braid because I find that that makes the waves kind of go away from my face, which is the look that I want to get. Rather than going this way, I'm going this way under with this one. And this is a French braid, so I am gathering pieces as I go, directioning your braid up and back. Make sure you have an equal clump of hair in each area so that you can braid down the length of your hair as long as possible. You wanna be able to braid down as close as possible to your end so you have your waves going down as low as possible. And now I'm ready to seal it off and I'm gonna use one of these Goody Ouchless Elastics. I just like using the blonde ones because they blend in more easily. So I've got my one braid done and now I have to repeat the same process on the other side. Just sealed this one off and I am done. Oh, my friend Sophia just texted me. She wants to meet me for tea time. I was gonna stay in with my sleep braids, but you know what? These are cute enough to take out. I think I'm just gonna put on some lipstick. A matte purple color is perfect. NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the color Soul. Take this look to bed. Well, that was a little bit of a restless night's sleep, but at least my braids dried. You can see it, they got a little frizzy, which is okay. It's kind of a cute undone look, but I'm gonna take these out and see what kind of waves I have happening. You just wanna undo your braid and don't yet comb through. Okay, so you can see that I've unwound all of the braids, but it's still just kind of hanging a little bit awkwardly. So this is the part where you just sort of finger comb it. I also take these areas by my sideburns, pull them forward a bit. And you'll remember that I kind of parted my hair a little bit crooked up here at the top, which really helps when you take the braids out to look a little bit more natural. And as you can see, it's really important to try to get as low down with your braid because the ends end up being a little bit straight, but I kind of like that look. To set this look, I'm gonna use this Frizz Protection Finishing Mist. I have naturally curly hair, so I want to prevent this look from getting that sort of halo of frizz. And I'm just kind of pulling the hair out as I do a light spray, because I want to coat those underneath layers. I'm gonna finish off this look with a little bit of the Well People bronzing stick. You guys know I love it. I already have some base and a little bit of bronzer going on from before, but I'm gonna add just a little bit more around my hairline here, just kind of highlighting. And now for blending, I'm just using a makeup sponge to just work in this creamy color. I'm just gonna add a little bit of highlight with the Well People Bio Brightener Universal Glow, another product. 
that I love. Bronzed, glowy, beachy, and I'm ready for my day. for an evening out. Part my hair on the side and create a braid over, which is just a nice face framing braid and has kind of a fun bohemian look. I think that this is great for a dinner out, but also great for a wedding, a graduation, prom even. I'm just starting by parting my hair over on the side, which will make the look already different. And I wanna be careful not to separate too many of my curls. I wanna keep this side curly. The same kind of braid that I did with the sleeping pigtail braids over braid as opposed to an under braid. I don't want this part to be going all the way back. I want it starting about midway on top of my head. I'm directioning this braid forward along my hairline, which has a real nice vintage look to it. So I'm gonna end the French braid process here, and then I'm just gonna continue the braid in the usual fashion. I want this braid to blend in with my hair, so I'm going to not braid all the way down to the end. This is where you could secure it with a bobby pin, and I'm gonna use one of these Con Air bobby pins. Use another bobby pin and create an X. And I'm gonna just use this back area of hair to just kind of cascade it down over my bobby pinned area. Now I'm just gonna pull out the braid a little bit more here so that it has a little bit of a looser look to it. Get a little more lift here in my roots. And I'm gonna seal it in using the Nexus Maximum Finishing Mist, which has a stronger hold than the No Frizz spray that I used earlier. I'm just going to add this Pixie Matte Luster Lipstick in Plum Berry, which is just a beautiful plum color. Now I'm ready to go out on a beautiful spring evening date night. Where's Joey? Fun. I'm really glad I got to share this technique with you guys and I hope you guys got inspired for your own no heat hairstyles and of course all the products that I use today you can get at Target or Target.com and please share your favorite event ready hairstyles using hashtag Target style and hashtag Mr. Kate so we can all bask in your braids or your waves or whatever and also subscribe because we have more fun videos coming at you and comment what was your favorite look huh huh I want to know slay nay Play, nay, and it was fun hanging out with you guys. Per usual, always, I love you so much. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Mr. Kate.